Well, we fell in love and, uh, and never fell out of love. It was glorious, actually. Edie Windsor and Thea Spire were together for 42 years before they were able to legally marry in 2008. Do hereby pronounce you, Edith Windsor and Thea Spire, to be legally married spouses and partners for life. Congratulations. Everything about that day was wonderful. If you've been together for 42 years, and in fact we were what we called engaged for 40 of those years, then what could be different? And it turns out marriage could be different. It doesn't matter how long we were together, the next day it's different. Okay. There's something untouchable, profound that happens. Edie and Thea's relationship was documented in the film Edie and Thea, A Very Long Engagement by filmmakers Susan Muska and Greta Olaf's daughter. They were engaged at a time when it wasn't talked about. They couldn't be public about their engagement. And in fact, they, they didn't know they would ever get married, that that would ever be like in the realm of possibility. Edie was, is a longtime activist. Both of them were pioneers in their fields, clinical psychology, computer programming, when you know it was difficult enough being a woman professionally, never mind you know, having this whole other lesbian life that, and maintaining a, a healthy relationship. So, I mean, there's the, there were many, many social challenges as well as professional challenges. Thea suffered from progressive multiple sclerosis. She passed away in 2009. When Thea passed away in February 2009, I was overcome with grief. In the midst of my grief at the loss of the love of my life, I had to spend countless hours defending our relationship to the federal government. Edie and Thea's marriage was not recognized by the federal government because of the Defense of Marriage Act. After Thea's death, Edie had to pay $360,000 in estate taxes. The federal government treated us like strangers. And it, and it was very painful that the sense of injustice and unfairness was, was huge. I paid $35,000 for this house. That was appraised at $550,000 for tax purposes, okay? So half of that was Thea's and 50% of that was taxed. It's a brutal process. And of course, if you're straight, that doesn't apply at all. If it had been Theo instead of Thea, one letter difference. If, I, if it had been a guy I met the day before Thea died, it would have been zero. In 2010, Edie filed a suit challenging the constitutionality of DOMA and seeking a refund on the estate taxes she had to pay. Ultimately, the film that was made about us gave me the courage to, to look for for somebody to help me sue the government because I felt that we had the document of a glorious marriage, which it was. My late spouse, Dr. Thea Spire, would have been so proud to be part of our effort to challenge this unjust law known as DOMA, to get the federal government to treat married same couples the same way that it treats other married couples. In June 2012, a federal district court in New York ruled in favor of Edie and found DOMA unconstitutional. The case is now being appealed. I was thrilled, of course, with the ruling. We are not surprised at all at Edie taking on the federal government at all. She's a fighter. She always has been. She's fearless. I think Edie is fearless. People stop me on the street and thank me and say, thank you for what you're doing for all of us. And, and so I get a stronger and stronger sense of, of, oh my God, what I could do. The ACLU filed a petition for Edie's case to be heard by the Supreme Court. Edie's case, along with a number of other challenges to DOMA, will determine the future of the law. What do I think if we win? It's the beginning of us enjoying uh, our lives in the open. Many people are reassuring me all the time that Thea is present during this, this stuff. And, uh, and I feel like she would love what's happening and what's going on and what I'm doing and who I am.